So I am super excited today because today I picked up my first, yes, my first Ethereal Eyes Moonlight Makeup by Mario Eyeshadow Palette. Yeah, I've never owned a eyeshadow palette by Mario, who is the makeup artist to Kim Kardashian. We're going to do some swatches. We're going to do an eye look and I'm going to do two eye looks, one on each eye and I'll give you my thoughts on what I think about it. So let's go ahead and unbox this. I actually picked it up from Sephora this morning. I believe it's limited edition from what it said on the Mario website. I'm not too sure, but I'm just unboxing it now. 12 pan eyeshadow and each is 0.04 ounces or 1.6 gram per eyeshadow. This is the palette, lovely white palette, matches my lovely fake nails, all numbered um, from 1 to 12. Now, I did on the Mario website have a look at what the shade names were called and also what the tones were. So what I will do is I will leave a screenshot when I'm doing the swatches so you can see which tone is which and what the actual reflections are. And look at that. Aren't they absolutely beautiful? These are a combination of warm and cool tones. Apparently these shimmer shades are new formulas. They're supposed to be uh, trans... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, not translucent, but sheer, see-through with shimmer. And that's a good thing because sometimes you just want a topper and you don't actually even want to have a full-on opaque shimmer shade. I'm going to do the eye look first. I have prepped my eyes with just some foundation. I'm going to do that first and then what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and do the swatches last because I don't want to dig in with my fingers and ruin it yet. <laughs> so let's take off the cover and be careful not to drop it. And by the way, this this eyeshadow palette is 130 Australian dollars. And luckily it did come to Sephora because if you were to purchase it from the Mario website, it would be $130 plus just over $30 for shipping. You've got no choice. Here we go. And there we have it. All right, so what shade am I going to play with first? I'm thinking I'm going to do a transition shade first of thinking this taupey shade right there. I'm just using a big fluffy brush. Now, already I can tell you there is huge kick up in the pan, which is what I've heard one of the major flaws with all the Mario palettes that they do have a lot of fallout. But then again, ABH has a lot of fallout in her palette. Uh, I even find you know, Natasha Denona has a lot of fallout in her eyeshadow palette, but they are very, very pigmented. So I'm just tapping off and I'm going to look down into the mirror, obviously I said I would, and start doing a crease shade. And I can tell you that this shade here is just your typical cool taupe shade and it's coming on quite easily. I do have fallout already on my cheekbone there, but I do have a bit of powder underneath my eye so I can easily swipe that off. Off the ball, really happy with the pigmentation and I'm really happy with the blendability of that. Okay, I'm going to go in with a deeper shade now and just getting a different brush. I'm going to go in with this grey shade right there. It's like a dove grey and I'm going to just do right underneath that crease and working it down to the outer corner of the eye. Very, very pigmented shadow. Actually quite happy with that. I'm just going to get a clean brush. And 
blend those shadows together. Now I'm going to go in with a sheer shade because this is what I've been really, really looking forward to. Just want to see how it looks. I'm going to go in with this gold shade right here. And I'm putting that center of the eyelid. Wow. Okay. No need for finger wetting or wetting the brush but i'm sure if you were to wet the brush you would get a really more impactful look but just this is a dry brush flat shader brush and already i'm in love with the sheen of that that's absolutely gorgeous i'm just going to wipe off the fallout there we go that is absolutely beautiful i'm just going to clean up just going to clean up the edge here with a damp beauty sponge I'm just going to put some mascara on this eye and I'll be back. Okay, so I just put some black mascara on the top lash and now I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line. I'm thinking to go into this brown shade right there and I'm just going to do some shadow under there. Yep, that is definitely very, 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 very pigmented. And I'm very happy with the way that's turning out. The only thing I'm obviously just having to get rid of the fallout. And I'm going to do an inner corner highlight. And I'm thinking this pearl shade right there. And put in a inner corner highlight. Now that's pretty. That is really pretty, actually. Very, 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 very shimmery. And the reflect is a little bit of opal blue, slightly a tinge of green. But it's very, very reflective. And again, I'm just going to wipe off the fallout from that brown shadow that we had there beautiful look now i'm just going to put some mascara on the lower lash and then we'll go back and do the second eye with a different look okay the second look that i think that i'm going to be doing is let's try navy um what brush am i going to use i'm going to use a slightly smaller brush so i really want to keep it quite I don't want to blow it out too much okay here we go just gonna get rid of the for my primer today I am just using a foundation as primer which is just the KVD beauty good good apple serum foundation now this is a beautiful navy blue just picking up a little bit more of that navy blue just going to do the outer corner of the eye Now, with a different shade, I'm going to go in with this taupey shade. I'm mixing it in with the lighter nude shade. I'm just dipping into these two. And I'm going to go over the edge of that blue shadow just to smoke it out and sheer out the harsh line. The brush that I'm using is a Sigma E36 blending brush. And it's just perfect for softening out edges. And these shadows are blending in just wonderful. So far, I'm really, really happy with this palette. That's pretty. 
okay i'm going to go in now with a shimmer shade shimmer shade that i'm going to be using this taupey shade right here I'm going to be doing that just in the middle part of the lid. And I'm going to put another smoky. Um, and then I'm in the middle, then right in the inner corner of the lid, I'm going to put a lighter shade. I'm thinking, obviously, maybe just this white shade right there. Yep, okay, now for the lower lash line, just gonna wipe off my brush. I'm gonna go in with this gray shade up the top. It's like a slate. I'm just doing the lower lash, just doing half. Pick up a bit more. And then wiping off the brush, I'm gonna go in with a shimmery shade actually, why not? shade right there. I'm just using the edge of the flat shader brush and I'm lining from the inner corner to the middle part of where the and for inner corner highlight I'm going to go in with the gold the gold shade there So just look directly into the camera rather than looking at myself, just so you guys can have a good look of how it turned out. I am going to put mascara on the top and bottom lashes for this eye, and then we'll come back and do swatches. So now I have done mascara on both eyes. I'm just wanting to oomph it up a little bit now i do have a blue eyeliner and i'm just going to change up the look a little bit just to see how we can make it look a little bit more put together so i'm using just a cobalt blue eyeliner in the rim of the waterline that's just another take on Making it pop, I might as well just do the other eye as well, now that I'm here. And there we have it. Okay, so now it's time for the swatches. The nude shade is very nude. I'll just obviously dip my finger in again just to let that show up on my skin. It's a very, very, very nude shade right there. Okay, going in with the next middle row. I must be like the worst swatch person ever. And finally the bottom row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and swatch them out again. Starting with the top left shade, which is the very pale nude shade. Then I'm going in with the shimmery white shade. Next, I'm going in with the brown. Now I'm going in with the slate. Just wiping off my hands to do the next swatches. Now I'm going in with the Dove Grey. Now I'm going in with the Mid-Tone Bronze 
shade. Now I'm going in with the goldy shimmery shade. Then I'm going in with the light tan shade. And finally, moving on to the bottom row, we have the black. Then we're going with the navy blue. That was a that was a poor swatch, guys. Sorry. Now we go in with the cool taupey shade. And finally we go in with the deepest brown shade which we have. And that is a better swatch. I hope <laughs> that was better for you to see. But guys, I will leave the um combination i will leave the chart swatch shade on the screen so you can have a look at those and um also feel free to jump on the mario website it'll tell you what the um actual shades are so guys that is my review on the mario ethereal moonlight eyeshadow palette I overall am very impressed with the formula and I'm very happy that they contain both cool and warm tones. It is a very versatile palette that you can use for day and night. You could do a very dramatic look with it or you could do a very she, no makeup, makeup look with it as well. Now, do you need this palette in your life? Absolutely not. You most likely have these tones and shades in your collection already. But if you are a collector of makeup as I am and keen to try something new, go ahead and splurge and get this palette. It's definitely worth it. So guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Feel free to share it with someone that you think might get some use out of it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.